everybody, this is Charles over at Teachers Discovery. And in this video, I wanna show you how you can take a PDF and break it apart so that you only have to send certain pages or certain parts of it to your students rather than having to send the entire document. Now for this one, I am going to be using the Complete Spanish Teacher's Handbook. And I chose this one because it is almost 300 pages long. And that might be a little bit big to send uh, the entire book to a student. So we're gonna pretend that we just wanna send this very first activity, which is just about four or five pages long. So when I first download it, it comes here into my downloads, and when I double click on it, it opens up in Acrobat. Now, unfortunately, in Acrobat, I cannot extract pages, uh, at least not in the free version. Uh, it's not gonna let you do that. So I'm gonna show you a way that you can get around that. Now the only tool you're going to need to do this is Google Chrome, which is uh, Google's website browser. You might be already be using it right now. All I need to do is find the file that I downloaded, and I'm going to grab it and drag it over to Google Chrome and let go. Now I only need this page here, which is page three. Let's see, page four, page five, page six, and that's it. All right, now we have to use the page numbers that are showing up here uh, in the PDF rather than the page numbers that are listed here in the book. I know that can be a little bit confusing, but it's because the PDF is actually counting the total number of pages that there are in the book as opposed to uh, the numbers that are printed on the pages. So just going off of this, we know that we want pages three, four, five, and six. So all I need to do from here is come over to my little print icon and click print as if I were gonna print this on my printer. But instead of choosing my printer, there's a button right here that says save as PDF. And that's just right here in my destination. And here where it says pages, I can select custom because I only want pages three through six. And if I come over here, I should be able to preview it by just scrolling this down. Here's page three, four, five, six, and that's it. So now I click save. And it's gonna ask me where do I wanna put it? So I'm gonna put it right here, and I will call this uh, activity one, asking how are you? And save. Now if I come here to the folder where I saved it, you'll see there it is, activity one, asking how are you? And if I double click on it now, it'll open up in Acrobat and you'll see it's only those pages and no more. So now this much smaller file, I can now email to my students and let them know this is the activity I want them to complete as opposed to having to send them the entire 300 page book. Anyway, I hope that was helpful. Uh, if you have any questions, please give us a call, send us an email, let us know. You can even write your comments below uh, if this video is up on YouTube. And thanks so much. We'll talk to you soon.